Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, these solar flares, massive. X-Class 2.2, another one, 2.1, another one, 2.05. And the fact that we're seeing the CMEs, the shock waves. Uh, you talk about shock and all. Well, you could have that if somehow the, the pressure building on the tectonic plates and even the pressure building in the Earth with the volcanoes. You have to be concerned about earthquakes or volcanoes or both. When you have this much pressure, shock waves, it's already affecting some of the radio transmissions on the Earth. We've got reports of that. Scientists, NOAA, very concerned about power grids. Well, I've got a couple things I want to show you here. First of all, there has been some earthquakes, nothing major. There's been 26 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, including a 4.9 at the Vanuatu Islands and a 5.1 in Indonesia. But there's been a 3.3 earthquake. Not real big. It's where it happened. Strange. Centerville, Utah. Centerville, Utah. Well, here's a bit of here's a map. I thought to myself, the minute I saw it, I said, how close is that to Yellowstone? Well, it's 352 miles from Yellowstone. There you see Yellowstone National Park. And there right down there near Salt Lake City, Utah, is where Centerville, Utah is. So only 352 miles from Yellowstone National Park. So it's in that region where there's been seismic activity, especially up in Idaho, uh, Wyoming, uh, West, uh, you know, Washington State, uh, we've been, they've been constantly feeling some rumbling up in our northern California and, and Colorado sometimes, and now Utah, Centerville, Utah. Well, you say, what's that got to do with Yellowstone? It's 352 miles away. Just calm down. Well, the, the problem is you rarely have a quake there. You're definitely within the range of this super duper super volcano that's rumbling under the earth. It's already starting to show signs and potential catastrophic event it would create. Let's face it, cataclysmic of biblical proportions if that thing erupted. But here's what else is going on in the sky up there in the space, in, in the sun. Uh, we know that there's been these uh, solar flares, quite large. Uh, there is a prediction today by NOAA. Forecasters are estimating a 60% chance today of an M-class solar flare, also a 30% chance of an X-class solar flare for today, June the 12th, 2014. So they really believe we're going to get another flare. Could be an M-class, could be an X-class. Uh, the likely source is the sunspot AR-2087, which has already produced three major eruptions uh, on the sun since June 10th and is turning now toward the Earth, the, solar, the sunspot is. Now, also, NOAA has just made another announcement. Incoming CMEs, the double X flare uh, the first two that went off on June 10th may have produced a geo-effective CME after all. First they said, don't worry about it, it's outside the lines, it was a side shot, maybe we get a glancing blow, let's not worry about it. But now that the radio systems, some of the radio broadcasting systems and satellites have been affected already, folks, and uh, the rumbling, and now you've got this earthquake at uh, Centerville, Utah, I think they're cover their tracks. Space.com is reporting that NOAA wants to get out ahead of this now and say, look, uh, we, we, we're going to have to change our minds. We are being affected. The double X flare of June 10th may have produced a geo-effective CME. After all, says NOAA, at first it appeared the Earth was outside the line of fire, but a closer look at the CME reveals an Earth-directed component. And then, uh, so they're very concerned about it, and uh, they're now starting to get the information out. So as we've, we've already talked to you about this earlier this morning, I had to come back to you. I'm not a scientist. 
uh, but certainly I know what the Bible says. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity or confusion and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. But he said, when you, when you begin to see these things come to pass, he said to look up, lift up your heads for your redemption is drawing nigh. Don't miss today. Matter of fact, don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. 12 noon Eastern. We're going to be talking about this. We have to talk about this, as well as other events going on, especially Russia flying bomber planes toward the United States. Come within two of them. Come within 50 miles of the of uh, the coast of Northern California. Uh, uh, what's going on? They, are you serious? Something biblical is taking place, folks. And it's happening, distress, and wars, and rumors of wars, and all kinds of perplexities, and of course, CMEs, and what they may do to our power grids, or even earthquakes. Keep an eye on earthquakes. Keep, a, keep, a, keep an eye on earthquakes, and keep an eye on uh, volcanoes, and keep an eye on sinkholes in the next 48 hours. Just watch closely, all right, and pray. God bless.